doing something here and we're getting ready to start our day. Um, I always like to sleep late on vacation. So here's Cole. He's in the bag again. See what adventures we go ahead and find. And I'm enjoying him and we're going to see what reactions we get later on. All right. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. We are still in Las Vegas. And yes, I'm in my bathroom at the Luxor Hotel. And this is little Cole. He's here with me looking so cute and tiny. I put him on this little um, suit that I got from, this little um, one piece that I got from a uh, sleeper that I got from the Toys R Us haul. So I wanted to show you all what I bought so far. Um, let's see. We've had a beautiful time here so far. And um, yeah, but there's not many baby clothes. But you know what? Oddly, I found a Ross and a Marshalls right on the strip, right by the Hard Rock on the strip, which is my favorite store. This I got from the Hershey's store, which is in the New York, New York Hotel. And it says Hershey's milk chocolate, I'm drooling. That's super cute. And it's kind of tiny, so it'll look cute on a little cold. So yeah, that's cute. I bought that. And, and also I noticed even in the hotels, they don't like have diapers or anything. So, so if Cole was a real baby, if you ever do come to Vegas and bring your real kids, I suggest you bring plenty of diapers and pacifiers and bottles because they don't have them anywhere. Not even in like the larger, larger hotels. I mean, this is a larger hotel, but not even in like the Venetian. They didn't have any baby clothes. But I think in a place called the Miracle Mouth Shops, I think they had a gap in there, a baby gap. I didn't get a chance to go around and look for it, but I do know Marshall's had a, like a small selection as well as Ross had a small selection of um, clothing. So here is like, it's a two piece. This is a um, three to six months. So I think I'm gonna put this on my big guy, my Cameron, because it's three, six months. It's um, a little onesie with a bib. And then underneath it's got a matching sleeper. If I can get to it with one hand. It's got a matching, whoop, it's hard to get to this, okay. It's got a matching sleeper, so that's cute, a footed sleeper. That's cute, I thought. And it's in the boy blue, so I call that one. And then next, we have, for low cold, of course, it's this three pack of zero to three. They're quite large, so hopefully if I wash them, they can shrink down a lot. I'm gonna wash them in hot or whatever, you know, throw them in the dryer and hopefully they'll shrink down. But I wanted to put him on one of these but these were on sale. They were, um, for this three pack was only $5.99. So I thought that was good. So it's the blue, a solid blue, where this is up all night, sleep all day. Little teddy bear, that was my oldest son, up all night, sleep all day. And this one's got, it's got little raccoons on there. So that was cute. It's got blue raccoons on it. And then just a striped one, a plain striped. Oh, and I'm showing them to you. Okay, that one's backwards, okay. So, I started trying on one of these, but I know it would be so big on him. But I really wanted to put him on, on one of those because he doesn't have that baby color blue like that. And I bought that out of there. And then, out of Ross, that was out of, um, that was out of Ross. This was out of Marshalls, let's see. Yeah, out of Marshalls. I found these for the girls, these little socks right here for the girls. And they are, um, let's see, Laura Ashley Baby socks. And they were $5.99 for three pairs. But I thought they were so cute because they have bows on there and little flowers on the toes and then flowers and butterflies and stuff on them. So that was so cute. And they're purple, blue, and pink. That's for my girls. And this set of bibs. So many bibs in here. And they're, I, they were wrapped with a little bow. I thought that was cute. So it's, it's got little dogs on there. It's um, a solid blue one, a striped blue one, a light blue and dark blue around for the trim, and one with stars. So that's, and it's got uh, five of them in there. So it was five bibs for $5. So I thought that was very nice. They're soft too. And what else did we get? Okay, and then we bought, I found, I did finally find a bottle. They have a CVS and a Walgreens on the strip. So I did find a bottle. It's a plastic even flow, which I don't have. 
So that was nice. It looks like the um, the glass one, but it's plastic, and I'm glad that it's plastic. But um, I bought it to for the nipple because I wanted to put it on Cole's little um, Infamil bottle that I bought him up here that I brought with us. But it's orange, and I like that. That's going to go into my football thing that I'm going to do with Cole um, when it's football season is in. And lastly, but not least, there's a store here called um, the Las Vegas Sock Market. And they have all kinds of socks in there. So it's Las Vegas Sock Market. So um, and it's, it's on the back about the, uh, you know, like a little history about it, I guess. That it looks like a little news article in the back. But I got these socks for Cole. And it says, Gone um, Bananas. But these little socks for Cole. And if you can't wear them, I can still put them back in here and just put them on my shelf. Because I thought they were so cute. These were on sale for $4 when they're regularly $8. It's LR Baby by um, Living Royal. Zero to six months. These are regularly, um, they're usually um, $8, but they were on sale. They had a half off sale, so I found these. And it was the last pair up there. So that was pretty good. I've enjoyed my shopping so far. I haven't found, like I said, a lot of baby things, but I have enjoyed this trip so far. And um, with shopping and everything. And I've enjoyed taking Cole out on my little outings as well. Um, I enjoyed meeting the lady um, in the Mandalay Bay. I enjoyed meeting her. We were just sitting there with Cole getting ready to take some pictures. And then my husband got to start taking pictures, which he's been so sweet. Props and shouts out to my husband for like putting up with my um, taking pictures and everything of us, of Cole and I um, on this trip. So. Um, but yeah, this is our fifth time in Vegas and we always stay like a week when we come. So, you know, you gotta be creative and think of different things to do. And there's always something different to do in Vegas because I don't gamble or drink or anything, but I love, 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 love shopping. So that's what I really come here for, shopping and the architectural details that they have and everything is just so cool for me because the way that even the hotel that we're staying is a pyramid and everything in here is like the pictures. They make sure that the theme goes all the way out through in every hotel. The Venetian is like an Italian theme, like you're in Italy with the gondolas. There's gondolas that, that flow through the hotel. And, um, you know, New York, New York is the New York theme. So there's the whole, like, downtown um, theme, street scene inside the hotel. So the architectural uh, design of each one of these hotels is just so magnificent. So I love seeing that. I just love it being in the, it's glitz and glam. I love the bling bling um, phone cases and just everything about Vegas. I love it, you know, as far as that's concerned. And, you know, I just, um, I like to shop. There's so many inside the hotels, just big um, shopping malls, you know. Some of them are kind of high end, Jimmy Choo, um, Louis Vuitton. Some of it's kind of high end shopping, but you know, I go in there and I look at those stores, um, but that, you know, I like um, Pandora. So I bought a few pieces from Pandora. Um, there's a Lush store, which is like um, all sorts of, um, I guess you'd say natural um, soaps and body, soaps, body, body washes and um, oil uh, lotions and so forth. I love that store. There's a store called Ruby Red with high-end purses. I like that store. But anyway, just different stores. I really, really love to shop and just relax and just enjoy the scenery out here. So it's so much different than Alabama or, you know, anywhere else that I go. It's just fabulous, the fabulous Las Vegas. And it's really, they put a lot into being fabulous. So I really enjoy, like even Disney, when they put a lot into the rides and the whole making you feel special that you're there because everything is so well themed going along with the theme. They don't skimp on anything. So I love that. But anyway, so my question, I have a tag and I love doing tags because I just think of things and I want to see what's your answer. So I was making sure my little light didn't go off. My question is, I've been able here to walk freely with little Cole when I feel like it. And, you know, um, because these people don't know me and I've been able to carry him around in my little bag. And speaking of which, I bought a bag specifically to carry him in because the other bag was too small and his neck was pushing up. So I bought a bag to carry him in. I was trying to see if I had bought something else in here to show you, but I guess I didn't. So um, anyway, my thought is, um, 
what would you do if your coworkers discovered your video, you know, discovered you changing, feeding, um, outing, mommy meet up, whatever. What, if, what would you do, what would you say if your coworkers discovered your video? You know, how would you explain our hobby to your coworkers? That's my, um, that's my tag. How would you explain your, your hobby to, um, you know, our co your coworkers? Like, okay, some of mine, I've shared with them that I collect dolls, because I've always collected dolls. There's never been, like I said before, there's never been a lull, even with the babies. I had babies, but I've always collected the current, you know, the current popular doll, and that's before the Reborns came along. But, um, so I've always collected some sort of doll going all the way through, so most people that know me already know that I really, really love dolls, so, you know, for me to collect um, the Reborns is just like another phase in my dog collecting. Which, I mean, the Reborns are like ultimate because they're so much, they're so um, realistic. So to me, that's ultimate in dog collecting. And especially the silicone. I don't have a silicone yet, but I do plan to get one at some point. But, um, you know, the, the whole point of silicones and Reborns is so realistic. So that's like the ultimate in dog collecting. But back to my question, what would you do? If your coworker stumbled upon your video or stumbled upon a picture in your phone or just stumbled upon your hobby and the fact that you're involved in this hobby, which is dog collecting, and the extent which you're involved into it, the pacifiers, the cribs, the bed, you know, the, the bedding, the, um, the diapers, and so forth. So that's my tag question. What would you do? And um, lastly, I have, I ordered a Bum Genius diaper that I heard Kelly Girl talk about because she mentioned that the diapers were like smooth and they weren't, you know, leave that sticking out part. So I ordered a Bum Genius to see what it was like. There's little Joey and Bum Genius she was talking about. So I ordered Bum Genius because I thought that name was cute, Bum Genius. But um, anyway, it is actually Bum Genius and they are addictive. I ordered one, I ordered white so that it would go with everything. I didn't want to order color so that I'd have to worry about matching it. I ordered a white one. It fit him perfect. Yeah, if you guys get a chance, check out the Bum Genius diapers because I recommend them. They're very nice. I love Bum Genius and I love Pampers. I love Pampers for the smell. So I did take this off and put it back on these little Pampers. And um, maybe later on tonight, and, and um, maybe later on tonight, we will go and uh, take some more pictures with a little cold. But I had this pacifier on, and that lady was like, he is so realistic. Why do you have a pacifier in his mouth? Like, you don't need to cover his mouth up. So I thought that was neat for her to say for her not to be, you know, know anything about the babies and be in the community or whatever. She was like, this is the most realistic doll I've ever seen. <laughs> but anyway, that was a great compliment. But anyway, that's all for us here in Las Vegas. And um, if we find something else that's cute, we will share it with you. And hope you all are having a great week. And, um... We're certainly having a great time here. And uh, talk to you later. All right, bye-bye. Look, friends, I found more baby stuff. I don't think I'll have anything to buy by the end of the week because I will have a bar at all. It's totally adorable. It's got like a piece of paper. Yeah, we're not gonna be getting anything out of here. Uh -uh. It was very cute though. Once again, this has got a, a comb in there. It's got a bow tie. And it's got a little spaceship. So, that's adorable. There's some more. I've never seen anything like that. It's very cute though. I don't know, I couldn't get that up at the top anyway because it's got the skull and crossbones. My husband does not do skull and crossbones. Yeah. That's totally good. Okay, let's see.
Okay, right now I'm in the recent store and the Hershey's Kiss store. And these are all the ones that are in the I'm going to check them out and see if they have something to put my babies. And if so, I'm going to get one. So that's where we are so far on our Vegas adventure. Teddy bears. Stay tuned, see what we got.